Hello, I'm Brett Robin Wood. This is my assistant who I made with my bare hands and some knives for Halloween. Move toward the darkness. Welcome the unknown. Face your blackest demons. Find your weakest bone. Lose your inhibitions. Love what once was vile. Move toward the darkness and smile. Move toward the darkness. Don't avoid despair. Only at our weakest can we know what's fair. When you face your nightmares, then you know what's real. So move toward the darkness and feel. Move toward the darkness, conquering your pain. Let each foreign forest offer you its rain. It's only at our lowest can we rise above. Move toward the darkness and love. It's only at our lowest can we rise above. Move toward the darkness and love. That's a song from the fabulous Adams Family Musical. My daughter goes to a school and the school put the musical on for their school play. They did a, such a great job. I'd never seen the musical before. I thoroughly enjoyed it. What a great Halloween treat that was. This macabre family, the Adams Family, and their cohort of ghouly ancestor ghosts that came to all manner of misfortune and horrible ends with them in the castle and this strange macabre dark odd people yet somehow there's so much love in that family and passion and so much life in amidst the kind of <laughs> death that they are so playful with and um you know, I was so entertained, but I was also really moved, you know. Um, I was sitting there and my daughter next to me, um, who I love and who loves me, and my wife couldn't make it, but she was in our hearts and we looked forward to telling her about it. And, you know, here's this Adams family singing to me things like... When you face your nightmares, then you know what's real. And I had this flashback, you know, like, as a young fella, I, I didn't want to face my nightmares. Um, my nightmare was basically that I was, this, this fear that I was unlovable. I had no idea this fear was there. So it wasn't a nightmare that kind of haunted me. It was way in the background. And I swaggered about like lots of young fellas, and I just wanted to live in the light, the light of creativity, the light of fun. Um, but there was a bit of a journey toward the darkness that was so necessary for me, um, because in my swagger and my the front that I put on, whilst it was very helpful to make my way in the world, really it was preventing me from any meaningful intimacy. Uh, it was a kind of a prison like a kind of caricature. I mean, there was plenty of good things about me at the time. Don't, I'm not beating myself up. I was, you know, but yeah. I remember sitting in therapy with a psychiatrist, which was a very, very um, significant part of my journey. I have such respect for the therapeutic process. Anyway, I'm sitting there one time and my therapist was classic therapist, like lots of silence and then questions. What's going on? <laughs> More silence. 
<laughs> lots of kind of mundane conversation. And then every now and again, in that space that he created, revelation would occur. I remember at one point, this thought, this, this understanding bubbled up. This knowing. This very uncomfortable and inconvenient truth. And I, 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 I said, you know, I think the truth is, I'm a coward. I'm really scared of the world. And these tears came up. Now, I hadn't cried for years because I'd made a decision somewhere along the line that crying wasn't good. So these tears welled up and I confessed <laughs> that deep down I, I feared that I was actually just a coward and not really up for this whole life business. And he leaned forward in his chair, which he very rarely did, and he made a statement, which he very rarely did, because he's like classic ask questions and leave lots of pauses therapist. When he did make a statement, man, it landed, it meant something. And, and he said, you know, I believe it would take a man of great courage to admit that kind of fear. And the truth of what he said landed and it hit me. And it was like this kind of matrix moment, like it did my head in, in a way, but I, I understood in that moment that two things were true. One was, yes, I'm really, I'm really afraid of so much. And the second thing was that I'm actually courageous and that this was a moment of great courage and moment. And in the moment of naming that I was a coward, I proved it untrue in some strange way. It, it's hard to get the intellect around because it doesn't really lie in that realm, but anyway. When you face your nightmares, then you know what's real. Move toward the darkness and feel. And so began the journey of feeling a reclaiming feeling. And it was awful in a way because a lot of those feelings were very ugly. And um, But the fact that I was feeling was the victory. And with the ability to feel came the ability to feel intimacy and love and human connection and all that stuff I longed for, longed for, yearned for, uh, and was afraid that I wasn't worthy of and therefore kept my mask up to avoid any opportunity of proving <laughs> that I wasn't worthy of love. What an extraordinary journey to come to take perspective on that um, and understand that not just intellectually but with a real intimate clarity. And so fast forward many years and many journeys of growth and there I am sitting in a theatre watching The Addams Family mostly just laughing my head off and every now and again being so deeply moved because that facing into the darkness um, is what enabled me to get to a point where I have found love and there I was sitting with my beautiful daughter next to me in this school community where there is a lot of love And hearing these messages come back at me in the beautiful form of musical theatre with all its lovely way of taking perspective on life. Only at your lowest can you rise above Move toward the darkness and love And it's Halloween and um, it's a time where we get to laugh at our demons and be playful with the darker edges of our personality and name things. And we've got a skeleton on our balcony, not a real one. The skeleton is positioned so he's climbing up onto our balcony. <laughs> uh, all that stuff that is a bit spooky and scary and odd and yet in a way so normal. I mean, we're all skeletons, right? I've got a skeleton in here. <laughs> Um, and one day it'll be all that's left of me in physical form. And anyway, ooh, in Halloween, we can kind of have a, a bit of a play with all of that. Hope you had a good Halloween if you celebrate that. 
Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching this channel. Thanks for watching and listening. Till next time. Bye. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Oh, Brett, I think you've said it all. You know, move toward the darkness you know, and love. <laughs>